God bless everybody. Today is Zephaniah 2, Tuesday, January 16th, 2024. Last we read Zephaniah 1, and they talked about judgment on the whole earth in the day of the Lord. Zephaniah 2. Judah and Jerusalem judged along with the nations. Judah summoned to repent. Gather together, gather yourselves together, you shameful nation, before the decree takes effect and that day passes like wind-blown chaff, before the Lord's fierce anger comes upon you. Before the day of the Lord's wrath comes upon you. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the land. You who do what he commands. Seek righteousness. Seek humility. Perhaps you will be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. Philistia. Gaza will be abandoned and Ashkelon left in ruins. At midday, Ashdod will be emptied and Ekron uprooted. Woe to you who live by the sea, you Kerithite people. The word of the Lord is against you, Canaan, land of the Philistines. He says, Lord's words, I will destroy you and none will be left. The land by the sea will become pastures, having wells for shepherds and pens for flocks. That day will belong to the remnant of the people of Judah. There they will find pasture. In the evening they will lie down in the houses of Ashkelon. The Lord their God will care for them. He will restore their fortunes. Moab and Ammon I have heard, oh, Lord's words. I have heard the insults of Moab and the taunts of the Ammonites, who insulted my people and made threats against their land. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, surely Moab will become like Saddam, like Saddam, the Ammonites like Gomorrah, a place of weeds and salt pits a wasteland forever. The remnant of my people will plunder them. The survivors of, the, of my nation will inherit their land. This is what they will get in return for their pride, for insulting and mocking the people of the Lord Almighty. The Lord will be awesome to them when he destroys all the gods of the earth. Distant nations will bow down to him, all of them in their own lands. Cush, Lord's words, you Cushites too will be slain by the sword. Assyria, he will stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Assyria, leaving Nineveh utterly desolate and dry as the desert. Flocks and herds will lie down there, creatures of every kind. The desert owl and the screech owl will roost on her columns. Their hooting will echo through the windows. Rubble will fill the doorways. The beams of cedar will be exposed. This is the city of revelry that lived in safety. She said to herself, I am the one and there is none besides me. What a ruin she has become, a layer for wild beasts. All who pass by her scoff and shake their fists. All right, under my likes, I highlighted Judah summoned to repent. Gather yourselves together, you shameful nation, before the Lord's fierce anger comes upon you. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the land. 
You who do what he commands, seek righteousness, seek humility. Perhaps you will be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. The Lord God will care for them. He will restore. I have heard the insults and the taunts who insulted my people and made threats. I have heard the insults and the taunts of the people or of who insulted my people and made threats. This is what they will get in return for their pride, for insulting and mocking the people of the Lord Almighty. The Lord will be awesome to them when he destroys all the gods of the earth. God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. Amen.